I mean, they must be finding something valuable here, and they must be able to do it easily if they continue to come back. Frustration at a high-end apartment complex in Mission Valley after a string of break-ins inside storage units. As ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen found out, the thieves are defeating three layers of security in the heist. Nick Hughes and his fiance have been renting at Vora Mission Valley luxury apartment homes since June. For a two bedroom, I pay $3,400. For an added charge, they have a storage unit inside the parking garage. That's my unit right there. More than three weeks ago, when Hughes went to open his unit, something strange. There was a different padlock on my locker, but it wasn't locked. Like, it was just hanging on there. This is a photo of what it looked like inside, what you don't see. In the moment, my heart sank and... Not a good feeling. Is a tote cart that held all his hand tools. Also MIA, some automotive paint and power tools. A sander, um, a drill, some car parts as well. In total, his loss was north of $1,000. Turns out his theft was just the beginning. Within a week, week or two after that, um, that's when everything, everybody else has started getting broken into. On a Facebook page for the complex, reports of thefts from other renters. Somewhere in between like 50, 75, decent amount. Police say so far five residents have filed reports. It's hard to wrap my mind around because you pay so much in rent. Hugh says to break into the units, the thief had to defeat three layers of security, a key card for the parking garage, a locked door to the storage rooms, and locks on the unit. He points out there are no cameras pointing at the storage units. About a week ago, the apartment complex sent out this email saying they are temporarily closing the storage rooms. They are all locked up now. Residents have to call them to get access. Hughes hopes that is not the end of the measures. Kind of a wake up call for more security measures. After a string of thefts that's left him feeling insecure. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. Police say they will be combing surveillance video around the complex, but so far they don't have any workable leads. Anyone with information is asked to call the Eastern Division and ask for Detective Lapp.